The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience, and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Kayla from Charleston, South Carolina. Hi, Kayla. Welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you here with us today. Your Honor, today's case is Greaves v. Durham. Thank you, Your Honor. Gerald Greaves. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Tempest Durham. Yes, Your Honor. I woke to up court angry today. today. Say the two of you have been in a relationship for the last two years. Yes, Your Honor. But there are a number of issues. I woke up angry that because. That have caused the two of you to now be on the verge of splitting up. Am I right, sir? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you. Why don't you give me some background? How'd you I tried so hard I to be a good a person. Um, I had just got out of a. I tried so hard to Tempest love. Hit me up on Facebook. You know, we haven't seen each other in a while. You know, I, I try so hard up. to understand exchange numbers. Um, she was other people in a relationship with somebody. And I was giving her advice. And I get mistreated. And, um, we eventually started hanging out. What are the problems? How'd you end up here today? And I don't deserve I'm that. I got four kids. With her, it's like having a fifth child. It can be very childish, very dramatic. I am and so it, to that point where I'm hurt at, at, at the end of the road. You know? Okay, what do you have to say about that, Ms. Durham? Um, I'm so angry. I don't think that I'm childish and dramatic. If I'm childish, he's a grandpa. Um, he never wants to do anything. He doesn't want to have sex. It's lack of affection. Um, a lot of cheating and flirting going on. I'm away angry from. because you're how old? 23? Yes, ma'am. Okay, my so son there is got a taken away of from me. Gap between the two of you, about 12 years. So what's and knowing what I believe, what you say are her the knowing the mental family. abuse that okay. I am uh, going through. Example, I, had to get I know my son over. is going through I it. I know he is. And the saddest the part about it is that I've been being abused for so long. And my son so, like, see that. Can't be here with a bunch of guys. And he thinks and it's she's okay. Always wants, she always wants to be up under me. I, I don't know shower, what to do. Mm -hmm. phone, land, the gaslighting. How do you stop the gaslighting? How? Nobody replied, no responses. So How do I, I stop the mental period. abuse? I'm like, hey, why y'all never showed up? Uh, one of my from not co-workers just said, happening to me, to get I'm like, but to my it. son. He shows him his phone, and they're on his phone and says, hey, you know, I'm canceling plans. What do I do? I have to do this another time. Something came up. How <laughs> do I protect my son? I send that. So she took your phone she and sent the message. Ain't no telling to what they're doing to my son. What they're saying. He had a cut on his neck. And he's lying about the cut on his neck. First, he said he got it when he was here, when he got a whooping. But he didn't have that here. He didn't get that here. Because the two of you live together, right? Does he have a, a guy's night that often? Not really. Then he said so he got bit by a mosquito. Guys come over. Yes, ma'am. And you just decide to text I don't know what's going on. Yes. Without telling. Yes, Your Honor. Um, I just feel My like, son. Oh, you know, he's sitting there all night long. He repeats. his friends are. Yeah. And I already don't have any. Your friends. feelings. Like, instead of so he's, he's, saying he's, his he's own feelings. Friends. I, you know, work friends. I don't really have any friends outside of work. He so don't he even realize that he have his own feelings and he's entitled to his own feelings. Who never show up. He Not something because what I'm doing, but because okay. what is happening to me. I had surgery back in May. I had a torn rotator cuff that needed to be repaired. Mm -hmm. We had been going through a lot of arguments at that time. About what? Females. You know, she's very jealous that I have female friends. So you do have a lot of homegirls. I do. Like, Does she I, know them? No. You haven't introduced her to any of your homegirls? No. So you can understand why that might be problematic. A little bit. He says homegirls that he sleep with. But it's not just homegirls. How do you know this? He tells me, oh, this is my homegirl. Yeah, we had sex before back then, but we're not doing anything now. <laughs> oh, is that true? Some, some of them I have. And I just don't feel like calling people with my problems home. today. You don't believe it? Dating no. people. Dating I really guys. don't. Sir, this is divorce court. That fact does not matter here. Okay. <laughs> we, we see it all. I can understand why that's an issue for you because I'm going to tell you something. But I'm alone. Have affairs and when they cheat, most of the time, it's not with the My son is it's gone. someone who they call a friend. And, he tells the and I don't so have friends. So you're telling them a friend. the problems that we have and they're like, oh. And at well, this time, I need a friend. And that gets to like, okay, so let me 
come and I don't have a friend. So I could be that shoulder to cry on. So they're just waiting for the right opportunity, yes. is what you're saying. Yes. I understand her perspective on this one. What do you say happened when you had surgery? Tell me about that. But when like, I so think about been doing a lot of how I can go through all this uh, with me, and still be able um, to love, I just felt like it was still be able to help, still be able to sacrifice myself and do the right she thing. Sent me one text message before the surgery. That was it. it makes me when I was at the hospital, she didn't check on me, she didn't call. So I know that feel strong I just, it was fight because I didn't want her at the surgery. Um, when I got it home, it makes me feel good. I went to her, she was at her aunt's house at the, at the time. I went to her aunt's house. It makes, house. Her it makes me feel like, like I can do I anything said, in this world. You know, you didn't, you didn't check on me at all. You and I will. Me. I say, um, I'm just at the point I will. I'm just ready to move on. You know, she wants to argue some more. Everything I that went home. The, the enemy try to stop me from doing or getting. She pulls up, I will get it. I'm still on the phone. <laughs> uh, you know, I first. will get it. I found very peculiar. It's 12 o'clock at night. You know, he's playing around, running around. You know, I'm telling him, like, hey, you know, settle down. Now, this is your surgery, so your arm is in a sling. Yes. And every, okay, yes. I'm just trying to envision what's happening. I go to here. court I next week. Uh, hit my flip flop. I look down. And I see something yellowish on um, my And football. I feel like I'm in a fight for my life she's right on now. I asked her about it. I told her I'm done. She did pick I haven't been eating. It's me in the back. I you haven't been right sleeping. If I can't do the same thing, nope, it's phone. an invasion. It is an invasion. And I just I and feel so alone. By throwing food on people. I feel so alone. And I don't care. I don't care her. She got if the narcissist the watch this muscles. video and see this video and, she just got and this feel good about face. this video and she just go to squirt in the mustard all over man. because like, five minutes you later like, you they're going to feel like and shit again she's like, oh, you, you think you're gonna just you think you're gonna try me like that you I feel like, like this she right now but I'm gonna go in the bathroom all of my clothes brush my teeth to go in the house fix my and hair just follow me just continuously and probably like pour me a drink. And these are photos yeah. of the mustard. And I'm going to feel yes. good. Miss Durham. Yes, Your Honor. So you show up at his house premeditated with a bottle of mustard and a baby. And he's only been out of surgery for two days. Your Honor, I, I like to note she also threw the ball at me as well. Hitting me in the shoulder, the same shoulder that I had surgery on. Mm -hmm. So you showed up at his house. I don't deserve this. Now, if this were At house all. Sauce, you were Beyonce, be a different story. But that's not what we do. Now, why are you so childish? I don't. Um, I wouldn't say I'm childish. I would just say. I'm oh, I would say you are absolutely acting like a five year old. I would just say I'm very over emotional. What do you think that's going to solve? I'm squirting a man with mustard. He right out of surgery. It doesn't solve anything, but in that moment, I just. It just felt okay. Okay. So he's right. You are petty. You are dramatic. Now, Mr. Greaves. You said the final straw was what happened at the Mexican restaurant. Dare I ask? Well, Your Honor, when you decided to go get lunch, uh, looked at her phone. I just want my she son has, back. Uh, calls 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. That's it. But for X. Not even for myself. I, not I don't even related. want my I son guess. back we, for we, me. We, we begin to have an argument. And I want you, him back because I want to protect him. Home. I need I to protect you him. Look, Ain't nobody going to love my son like me. She had, she had nobody. Up, she had up, you know, I don't care what like that, they sign him have up have for, of, what they tell you know, him. I say, well, I Nobody's going to love my son you're, like you're, me. On the phone with your ex. Nobody. How could you sit back and watch somebody being tortured mentally, including their child, and not say anything? How? What kind of people well, am I around? I see, I see that she's on the phone with her ex. What kind of people am I dealing with? She tried to say that to say nothing. Uh, somebody else. Anyone. When a single says, mother is being uh, abused, okay, so you can, being lied you on, gossip about what lies, all this stuff went to court on lies. Uh, she then throws the bag of Chipotle's at me. Mm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm and how can you just sit back and I just say nothing? 
I'm done. I'm not going to pick it up and try to pick it up anymore. I'm actually going to leave. So at that point, when I get halfway in my truck, she then picks up the bag, throws it at me, hits me in the back. I kind of turn around like, you know, you're being very childish. Not only do you get mad, but you like to wait. My hand is shaking. At the same time. He doesn't, he doesn't have a right to go through like my phone. how? Like, I can't do the same thing. No, nope, it's phone. an invasion. It is an invasion. Like, you gotta be a real pitiful, go evil, no disgusting, small individual to sit there and watch somebody suffer. And, 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 and be proud or happy. I get 50,000 text messages that someone is suffering. Die on me that doesn't make you want to walk further away. How many times do you have to have that makes me before you realize this is enough of this relationship? Want to walk away. I mean, that's all I can do because with a person like that. If you like your case to be heard on divorce court, call us toll free 1 877 311 Ain't nothing you can do but walk away. Divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms. And for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. If, if you don't like what someone does, you walk away. You reevaluate their relationship. You say, maybe this is not the situation for me. Maybe we need to take a break. But what My you hand do is not shaking. Do is assault people with food. And cause a scene, Your Honor. Because it was a big scene. It was a big mess. I don't know if they thought they was going to see a food fight, wrestling match. I don't know, Your Honor, but she, she caused a big scene. Even before I, I, I threw I, I was the, ready to go. Even before I threw the food. Does, does this not embarrass you to do this in front of people? Uh, when he was looking through the phone, I told him, calm down, calm down. It's not like that. If I'm trying to explain myself, why won't you give me that option to explain myself before it gets to that level anyway? So so you tell him to calm down, but then you actually exacerbate the situation and take it to the next level. Because he said he's going to walk away the food that I just bought and just walk away. He yeah, he has, he has a right to do that. He has a right to do that without you assaulting and throwing a burrito at his back. Was this after the mustard incident? This was after the mustard incident. What, what, what made you reconcile after that, sir? When, when I was going through the motions of my breakup, I didn't, I didn't have anybody there. She was there. She gave me that shoulder to cry on. And I don't have nobody. And together. they're taking and advantage of the fact up. that I don't yeah, have I, nobody. I, I would constantly break up with this girl. Such she low people. Please take me back. Please take me back. Such low, cowardly people. To the point, my phone would die on me sometimes. It's disgusting. No Call me it makes me sick to my stomach. Times. And that is. How it really do. That doesn't make you I've never met so many scary ass people. How many times do you have to have food thrown at you before you realize manipulating this is ass people? Exactly, because he keep letting me back in. If you really didn't want. I've to never do, met. I think her problem is she's used to dealing with guys her age. Any uh, maybe childish guys and manipulating just, I, I scary know. ass people a day in so my did life. You, did you have you ended the relationship? Yes. You might as well just love because you scary as hell. Five thousand text messages, five thousand phone calls. And you don't have to respond and you right. don't have to accept right. them. And when someone ends a relationship Vindictive. With you, you gotta let it go. You send me as text messages? Cry baby ass 5, 000, people. And I have 50. done You admit to fifty, am I right? What have I done? Okay, so Miss Miss Durham. Ms. Durham. Expose you gotta get yourself to the abuse. Now. I'm not wrong you, for that. You are before you go into another relationship. If it was you, what would you do? He's done as he should be. And stop texting him. I did stop as stop I should. On social media. Stop calling him. Let it go. This is a wrap. Until you get a handle on how you deal with your emotions and how you communicate. I got clothes on, y'all. It is in public. It is embarrassing. And it is unbecoming of you. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to humiliate yourself? I'm not trying to humiliate myself. That, you, you, yeah, but that's what you're doing. I want you to be better. I want you to learn. You have some growing up to do. You're, you're 23. I'm not going to put it all on your I'm about age. to go. There are some mature 23-year-olds. I feel you're sick, y'all. You have some growing up to Every do. day. So just listen to me when I Every say day. you're going to have to learn how I feel to sick. deal with issues in relationships. I'm not eating. They, when you're upset I'm not, about things, when things are not going your way, all I'm you doing is just drinking water. To having 
Because every time I think about my son, I lose my appetite. I can't eat anything. And then throwing things at people and assaulting them. And I hate my baby got to go through this. And I feel helpless because I can't protect him. I really do. You cannot do these things in front of your child and not think your child is gonna is not gonna witness this and then emulate what you do. Your child is looking at you right now as their number one role model in life. So, Guess like I'll even the foster home, the foster mom, the pictures on the wall with the behaving. continents yes. and the and the and the Black Learn Panther. How, how, how do they know that, bro? Upset. How do they know Learn what to, to put in his room? We study the continents. Angry, we love Black Panther. How do they way. know this shit? Noah didn't crazy tell them. How? It could possibly be a productive result, one that you want if you know how to communicate it correctly. Number two, when someone ends a relationship with you and breaks up with you, stop chasing them. I made Leave a joke love. one time or that every right to want to end I love eating goldfish, the children's snacks. Why wouldn't I get there to see my son? He got a pack of goldfish. Popcorn. Stop being desperate. Like, how do they know all his favorite things? I didn't tell them anything. We always have popcorn night. Because they're trying to get inside your head. These people are nothing. Nothing. But that's their rage. This is their rage right now. And, in many cases, so what you and yet is still, I haven't thought to retaliate or anything. But a lot of times that happens. I don't have that in my but heart in I think you to retaliate. For what? For what? Maybe, I, I maybe if you would have caught me back in the I days, yeah. You, I, I am. But for this what? For that says years. about your character, that not mine. Me it don't say anything about my character. Not a lot of people will put up with I'm this sitting up here long. for and the world to see right now how hurt I am. And you and think that says that I'm weak? Kind of crazy. No. You know that, right? it's not normal. I'm the strongest I person I know. And nobody can tell me different or take that away from me. Nobody is going to make me feel like I'm guilty for protecting myself. That's my advice. Good luck to it's not my fault. It's not my fault. And when this world come back around again, I'm not paying for it. You are paying for it. I just hope that, um, you know, people catch up on life and uh, be done with mustard. I think Judge Stacey's verdict was okay. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I hope people catch up with life and be done with mustard. Ah, I see. He would have left me alone. I just want to protect my son. That's it. It's crazy that the feelings that I'm feeling is not even for myself. It's not even for me. It's like I can feel my baby pain. I can feel it. My baby literally cried when he saw me. He cried. <laughs> but just hold on, baby. Because I'm coming. I'm coming. And we're going to get through this. This is not going to be like this forever. <laughs> and every person... And every person who... <laughs> You love each other, and I believe it. But what I'm trying to tell you, love is not enough for a successful marriage. There are so many other things that go in it. It's not just about you anymore. Here is today's case. I'm in divorce court because my boyfriend Willie is a serial cheater. I'm here in divorce court because my long-term girlfriend would not let go to cuts. He's gotten two women pregnant behind my back. I got a woman pregnant when me and Christina broke up. She's still holding this. If he cheats one more time, I am done with this relationship. If she can't start letting things go, we're done. Hardest 
now in session, the Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your superfans. Today's superfan of the day is Lilia from Decatur, Georgia. Lilia, welcome to Divorce Court. We're so happy to have you with us today. Your Honor, today's case is Slaughterbeck versus Williams. Thank you, Juan. Christina Slaughterbeck. Hello, Your Honor. You have brought Mr. Willie Williams to court today. How you doing, Your Honor? Good. Did hey, Lake Worth, stand up. Relationship on and off the the West Palm Beach. <laughs> Shout out, gang, gang. Fed up with his philandering ways. Yes. And if he doesn't stop, you are ready to call. That's my hometown. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, man, tell me how the two of you met and give me some background. Uh, we met in about 2013 on a uh, date nap. It started off as um pretty much it was it started pretty physical and it's not gonna be like and, this um, forever. It just move quickly from there. And uh, every person who wanna see beginning. me down is gonna have to watch me shine. I promise you. And that. the relationship has lasted close to seven years. Yeah, well, it's been on and off. I promise you that. Seven years. And what do you have to Mark say about my words, that, Mr. Williams. Every Honor, person who I wanna see me down. At the beginning. It's going to have to see me shine. And you know I'm good and for I'm it. Lover. And, you know, it's just, she won't That's why back. they attack me. Because they already know. Okay. You so will you not break me. So Period. that way of life for you is in the past. But she hasn't been able to let it go. Yes, and that's the biggest problem. Okay. It's not the past. He's steady doing it. it it's I hate my baby life. have to I suffer. If I hate it. it. In the beginning, because the people ring, hate his and mother. Have a conversation right there without getting up. Uh, I'm, I'm chilling with wifey, or you know, I'm my child is getting hurt. That stuff there. Now, his phone is face down, and it's not even because of something I did. The phone rings not even because I, I choose the wrong man the to be with, or I got my son in abusive situations. Okay, but that's, that's not even because of me. Because of somebody else. Who's jealous you and vindictive? You didn't start off hiding stuff in the beginning. What are you hiding? Are you and who hiding? don't love themselves? Uh, I'm not hiding nothing, but every conversation ain't for her ears. I, some conversations could be with my mother. Could be my baby my is mother. suffering. How can I? You know, everybody needs somebody to talk to. How can I confide in my mother about her in front of her? It's almost impossible. That's how problems come about in a relationship. You run into your mother about the bad things, and now she has a sour taste in her mouth about me. What happened when the two of you? went on a break you said something happened during a break in the relationship initially the first break he, he my went, baby is suffering his son um during, like i said we had breaks and everything we, we had breaks but we were never completely separated mm -hmm. he was always in my ear trying to come back home That's um, when we were separated, I tried to keep and I'm suffering clean. myself because i, I will not eat until my baby yes, come home so, so it wasn't cheating I will it not eat because he, you did have a until child. my baby yeah, come home. Really but you were separated. We were separated, but Willie was always in my ear trying to come back because Willie doesn't want anybody else to have me. Well, okay, but I understand that. But that's an, if, if you dated someone else and had a child during that time period, you're saying that he wasn't forthcoming about him even dating someone else during the separation? Exactly. How, my how son is safe. I have, I have two. Years? I have two. So you think my you son is safe. Yes, in the last seven years, yes, the two of you have been separated. Yes, Your Honor. So I two know. breaks, two children. Yes, but how can I trust the time, these people to I love my to son and protect my son oh, okay. when they mentally abusing his mother? But not forget it. You know what you're doing. How dare you get on that phone and ask me if I need anything? In the beginning, you know. How I, dare I, I you? She has kids of her own, you know, but they're not mine. And, you know, when like, you know the like, truth. If we would have had kids together, none of this would have came about. These you are know, not people. I'm not dealing with people. Plan, then, then, then that I'm dealing with monsters. I'm dealing with the devil. If you said if none of this would have happened if the two of you had children together, but according to you, you didn't plan for this to happen. It just, it just The devil come to steal, kill, plan. and destroy. And they stole my son. And they destroying my life. And they killing my son. Because my baby is suffering. We're separated. He chooses to live his life how he wants to live his life during the separation, which is two times have children. My baby is suffering. 
reconcile? Why go back to the relationship when, when that has happened? Um, and I this is kind of people I'm dealing I, I with. When I when I when I went and seen my son, I told y'all in my last video that everybody had left at this time. So I um stopped reading the book and I asked Heath, "Was it time to go?" He said, "No, it's not time to go." I said, "Okay, can you give us a a piece of paper?" And some crayons so that I can draw my son a picture so he can take with him and he can draw me a picture. And the moment we sat down to draw the picture, guess what he said? It's time to go. Just like that. That let me know who I was dealing with. Because one thing about a narcissist, they don't want to see you happy. They hate how happy you are. When you're happy, they hate that. And they will stop. They will stop your happiness if they see you happy. And that's what he did. Didn't even get to finish the, the picture. I took the pictures anyways. And this is what I did with them. This is what I did with them. These are the pictures. He gave us a piece of paper. My baby drew me a heart. He didn't get to finish it. And this is the picture that I drew that I was about to draw for my baby. The moment we sat down to draw that picture, now it's time to go. But I just asked you if it was time to go and you told me no. But now when you see that we're, we're drawing pictures, it's, it's time to go. Why? 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 What person would do that? So it's like I have to live with my son being in foster care already and still get beat up on top of that shit. That's not how somebody. So I don't deserve that. I. I don't. I'm. I'm not supposed to live like that. Like, I used to question and, and ask, like, what have I done to you so bad? Because that, 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 that is what you ask when people treat you this way. What have I done to you so bad? But it's not me. It's nothing I did. It's something in them. Internally. And they take it out externally on, on the people around them. I'm not the only person. I'm not the only person. I don't believe that. I feel like if you can treat me this way, you can treat anybody this way. I'm not the only person. That's what he did. Told me it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't time to go. The moment me and my son sit down to uh, draw each other pictures, now it's time to go. Then gonna tell me talk about the easiest thing to do is wait till you get your son back to 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 fight to fight to fight the case. How am I supposed to trust you, bro? Really? I already fucked up by not recording that shit, like I should have. Cause my dumb ass keep thinking that it's some good people out here still. You see what I'm saying? Still hoping and trying to believe that everybody can't be bad. Why everybody I'm around treat me this way, act this way? Why? Is it me? Am I vindictive? Am I, am I going out sabotaging you and smearing your name? Am I doing that? Am I taking your son away from you? Am I jiggling your handle and, 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 and surrounding you and intimidating you? Am I doing that to you? Am I gaslighting you? Am I using your words against you? Am I doing that? Am I calling DCF on you for no reason? Oh, I'm doing that? No, the fuck I'm not. I'm not doing anything to you. Nobody. 
Like I said, since the day I got here, motherfuckers been acting like they didn't want me here from day one. So guess what? If you don't want me, bitch, I don't want you. And that goes for anybody. I'd rather be by myself than be around people who make me feel like I'm not good enough. I don't care what kind of internal problem you got. Go to therapy and deal with your shit like everybody else do. You ain't the only one with problems. That don't give you a, a, a right of passage to take to to make other people's lives miserable or take your shit out on other people. My nose dry, my skin dry. Uh, I'm not really sure. Like, I four? guess this part, I, 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 yeah, I guess five? that would be fine. I guess that would be fine. So you're Lord, I think of you. Exactly. Call it quits? I don't think, I don't think you're going to do it. I mean. I don't think you're going to do it. Because if, if you were, if you were actually going to do it, I think you would have done it by now. I want to stop that. Because I know that's Like, hard. every time, everywhere I go. It's never enough when it comes down to me. It's no more. They're all out. I don't get the same treatment as everybody else. I don't get that. And I understand. I understand. I understand the hatred. I understand. I understand the hater. I know what a hater is. I know people gonna talk. I don't give a fuck about you talking. But when it goes, when it comes down to interfering with my life and my resources, that's a problem. That's a problem. My son couldn't even go to his school that we came here just so he can go to. My son couldn't even do that. I already know they out to destroy my life, so I know I'm in this by myself. So whatever I do, I'm going to do, and nobody can change my mind about it. Because I know you're not for me, bruh. My baby is suffering. And all, that's that's all I think about, bro, is how he must feel. How he must feel, bro. I do everything for my son. And he all know that. Yeah, I get frustrated and I yell sometimes. But I will never hurt my son. Intentionally destroy my son. Bitch, that's my child. I carried him for nine months. Not you. I gave up my life for him, not you. Let's talk about what you said in court today. Ms. How you going to tell me what the fuck going on in my life? So, for you, it's just using her at this point. You don't know. You don't know what I go through. Just because I wear it and make it look easy don't mean it's not heavy. I was completely wrong. Don't mean it's not heavy. I want to stop that because I know that's not right. You want to stop what? The doing her wrong. Okay, and so and over the course of seven years, you just come into this epiphany? Just putting myself in my baby's I shoes just, and thinking about you. what he must feel. So this is how relationships work. To be in a strange, already in a strange place. How hard is that, bruh? My baby already had to move away from his friends. And I comfort him by telling him he will meet more new friends. And to get here, and these kids leave the park when he get to the park. Don't want to play with him. Look at him like he just disgusted. It's really hard sometimes to get past. How hard is that for a seven-year-old, bro? I can do that. 
I can put myself in my son's shoes because that's who I am. You can't because that's who you are. And that's a personal problem. Already have to be in a, in a strange place. Now he's in a strange place on top of a strange place at seven years old, bro. I got to get my baby back. I'm not going to eat until I get my baby back. He don't deserve that. He don't deserve that. He didn't, he didn't, he, he can't help anything. He don't know what's going on. You motherfuckers are miserable as nothing as people. No matter what you do, bruh. No matter what you do to me, bruh. You will always have to live with who you are as a person. And that's nothing. When you go deep inside yourself and it's hollow and you don't feel shit, know that's who you are. And that's who you will always be until the day you fucking die. Because just like I said, in order for you to love yourself, you'll first have to come back and apologize to me for all the wrongdoings you do. And we know that you will never take accountability for anything that you do. So you're going to die miserable. You're going to die in hell. And your soul is going to fry because that's who you are. You're not hurting me. You you hurting my baby. That's who you hurt. My son. He already don't have his dad. Now he don't have his fucking mom either. Bruh. I do everything for my baby, bro. Everything. Everything, even, 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 even when my mother never validated my feelings, I learned how to validate my son's feelings because as a parent, that's what you do. That's what you do. So when parents say they want to give their son or their child what they never had, they're not always talking about material things. They're talking about love. Let my son know all he have to do is be himself. He don't have to do shit else but be himself. I teach him that. And that's something I never had in my life. I am a damn good mother. Yes, my son get whoopings. Yes, I tear his ass up. Yes, I get frustrated and I yell at him. Yes, I do. But that doesn't make me a bad mother. Because our good outweigh our bad every day. Every day our good outweigh our bad. And basically that's all I can do as a person. Is let the good outweigh the bad. But these people purposely making my bad outweigh my good. But I know. That I will not be in this situation forever. You may be where you at forever. And that's your problem, not mine. But I know how to go inside myself and pick myself up. That's why I'm blessed. Because I know how to do that. And it's just me. I don't have nobody else telling me, Nikki, it's going to be okay. Nikki, you can do it. I don't have nobody telling me that. I do that myself. I talk to myself. You want to say I'm crazy and delusional? No, I'm not. Because I know what I'm telling myself. And I tell myself, it's going to be okay. I can do it. I'm not going to be here forever. I'm strong. I will get through this. That's not a fucking delusion. That's a fucking fact. I don't, I, don't, I don't wake up, walk around, say, oh, I'm better. Oh, oh, look at me. Oh, I got a nice body. Oh, I'm so pretty. I don't do that. Mr. 
But I damn sure ain't going to stop loving myself because someone else don't love themselves. That's what I won't do. I, I love to love all my flaws. Because that's who I am. Didn't I just see this one? Oh no, they was from West Palm Beach. They was from my hometown. And I've been calling the Section 8 office, just calling and calling. They would not return my call. Then they had a fake number call me talking about they're from Go Section 8, and they calling about my application. I said, okay, so what part of uh, town did, did I call from? They talk about Palm Beach Road. Bitch, ain't no such thing as Palm Beach Road. I made that up, too. Just to see how it was going to get back to me. And I got a phone call from a random ass person that couldn't even lie scrape. Because just like I told her, stop playing on my damn phone. I should have told her and whoever told you to call me, tell him to suck my pussy. That's what you can do. No such thing. Even if it is a such thing as Palm Beach Road, I didn't apply there. It ain't one in where I applied at. Yesterday. If this was either yesterday or, or today is Friday, Wednesday. No, Thursday. I haven't brushed my teeth. I haven't washed my face. I brushed my teeth last night before I went to bed, but I ate some um some raspberries because I went to the store yesterday, and I could barely eat them. I had to make myself eat those. Like, I'm literally on the brink of starving. No, I'm not eating nothing until my baby come home. Nothing. My baby is suffering. And every day, I hurt. Because I know him. I know. And I can't do nothing about it. And it would, it would be okay if there was really a reason to take my son out of the home. That would be fine with me. It would be perfectly okay. But they had no reason to take my son. None. No reason. All lies. All lies. They had no reason. And that is what bothers me. That really bothers me. And then for nobody to stand up and say anything when you see the lies, when you know the truth, that bothers me. It, right, the lies. The universe is just clicking, just speaking. None of this is planned. Just sitting here watching the voice court. And ever since I've been on here, everything I say, the TV been repeating that shit. That's the universe. Oh, you writing that? Mr. Backway, there's something on the floor? No. 
That's how I know God is with me. That's how I know I'm on the right path. That's what you write to somebody and she said, thank you, babe. You say, I can't wait. Okay? She responds, what should I wear? I wish I was with you. Soon, babe, soon. I know. That's what she said. I know. I know God is with me. And I know we're going to make it through this. How do you explain that to a seven-year-old? How? Couldn't even enjoy my son because the whole while I'm trying to enjoy my son, they watching me. Everything, the way I sit, the way I talk, the things I do, they're just sitting there and they, they picking me apart. Couldn't even enjoy my son. They're using my words against me. Acting like it's their words. Saying it out loud, loud enough so I can hear it. I'm finna get up. Do my edges. Cause I jumped in the pool the other day. If y'all haven't seen my video, my fat ass. Period. Go watch that video. Cause my edges ain't been right since I since I went since I jumped in that pool. Finna take me a shower. I guess y'all can take a shower with me. I'll stop this video and I'll put them together. I don't really edit out my videos, but what I'm starting to do more is like put them together. I've been saying in Jesus' name for some reason. Is it a cop out? Because I normally don't say in Jesus' name. But I was praying with Heath. It's like anybody I come in contact with or come in my house, I'm praying with your ass. I'm praying with your ass, whether you accept it or not, because God see you. That's what people don't fail to understand. When you're by yourself, God see you. And it just slipped out. It, it really just slipped out. Because I normally don't even say in Jesus name. But that's that spirit, though. God is not a person. It's just the universe. The power. The will. The fire. That's what it is. That's that shit that make me feel like Sasha Fierce. But I'll be okay, y'all. I'll be okay. I'm about to get up. 
I'm about to get up. I got to make a singing video today because today is the day. So I got to get up. I'm going to practice all day and the video probably go up about 8 o'clock. I want to go to the pool and practice just to change the scenery and I may do that. But um, I will have that video for y'all today. Um, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I was going to um, stay on here. Y'all, please try to get me to a 1,000 subscribers so that I can um, go live. I just thought about I, I downloaded Facebook. I could have went live on Facebook. I, I just thought about that. But um, try to get me to a 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. Um, because somebody out here can't help me. Somebody out here needs to stand up for me and vouch for me. Because right now, it's just me. And y'all know, it's always just me. And these weak, coward-ass people is taking advantage of it. And now it's to the point where they, my son is suffering because of it. And this is unacceptable. I will not accept this at all so share my videos um like my videos get me to a thousand subscribers because the same people who want to see me down is the same people going to have to see me rise you're going to have to see me shine it's bigger than me it's bigger than this and you're going to see just how big it is when i get there you're going to see just wait on it but I'm going to stop this video right here. One part of me want to get back in this bed and mope around all day. So I'm fighting with myself right now. And I'm just going to go and do it. You know, the hardest part is getting up. That's the hardest part. I don't know how I do it. I don't know how I made it this far. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of my son. I'm so proud of him. And I hope that, you know, he he's still going to be his happy self when all of this is over. Because I don't know what's going on over there. It's Saturday. No Saturday morning cartoons. We would have been watching cartoons while he eats cereal. I, I, it has been four Saturdays without my son, and he left on a Saturday. It's easy to be resentful and build up hatred for people. And even though this is a difficult situation for me, I forgive you. I really do. I forgive you. And I hope that whatever you're going through, you can come out of it too. Because I know I'm going to come out of it. I can't believe you for you. I tell my son that all the time. Like, I believe in my son so much. And I know he's going to be the second black president. But at the end of the day, me believing in him only can take him so far. You have to believe in you. And yes, I know. You smear my name. You lie on me. You do all this. And you are disgusting, but I don't hate you. The way you hate me, I don't hate you. I don't hate nobody in this world at all. Etna always said hate was a strong word. And even though she hated me, I took that and I stand on that because it's true. No matter who it's coming from, even if it's coming from the devil, the truth is the truth is the truth. The devil may be using it for manipulation. But even though he is, does it make it not true? That's the truth. Hate is a very strong word. And I'm too beautiful. I'm too lovely to have hate in my heart. To live with hate for people. I forgive you. 
you're, you're, you're going to be okay. And I'm going to be okay. But I don't care. I don't want to see you. We could never be friends. Never. If you die today, I will honestly only have a feeling because a person just died. But because of who you are, I will be relieved. And that's the honest to God truth. Because you make me work hard because of who you are as a person. You make it difficult for people to love you. You, some people make it extremely hard for you to like them. And for you to make my son suffer the way that he is, I think you want me to hate you. I think that's what you want. I think you want me to be like you so that what all the lies you told can can prove in true. I think that's what you want. No. It's not going to happen. Because you got to pay for that. The Bible says anyone who calls any of my children to anger will be persecuted. Something like that. I don't know. I, I don't know. See how the universe just talked to me? I don't know the words verbatim. But I know in the Bible it says anyone who calls my children to suffer is already something. Suffering whatever it says. But you will pay. You will pay. And that's why I don't hate you. That's why I can forgive you. Because I know your time is coming. I know that. And it's so sad. So I ask God to have mercy. Because, hey, you're not trying, you're trying so hard to make me look bad, but you're just making yourself look bad. And on that note, we're going to leave it right there. So, like I said, y'all get me to a thousand subscribers. Share my videos, but I don't, I really, I don't deserve this. Like, I know, I know I'm not perfect and I don't try to be perfect. Like I said, I know I yell at my son, um, sometimes out of frustration and I go back and apologize. Y'all know I go and apologize to my son. Y'all already know how I am. You already know. Like, but I've never whooped my son or, or got, gotten, made him stand in the corner or go in the room because of my frustration. No, I, I probably have yelled at him or something out of my frustration, but I've never whooped him. I've never sent him to his room or his corner out of my frustration. No. Anytime my son has gotten a whipping, it's because he had either rolled his eyes, sucked his teeth, stomped his feet, just straight disrespected me. Every time he has gotten a whipping, and he'll tell you that. The narcissist tries so hard to make you out to be just this terrible person. But all you can do is continue to be yourself. And the people who don't want to believe it, so what? Fuck them too. Fuck them. Just be yourself. People, and this is how manipulating the narcissist is. I'm just being myself. And they make it like... Because I'm being myself, I'm being somebody else. Because of the lies that has been told. So me just being myself is a lie to 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 the people who who believe this gossip. It's it's a front, it's a put on. So if they wanna believe that shit, that's on you because I'm not changing who I am for nobody. I don't feel like a person should have to change who they are if they're not hurting nobody. I'm not hurting you. 
I'm literally mind my business and stay in my own lane. I'm comfortable with my position. Whether I'm in a relationship or whether I'm in a relationship with myself or my son. I'm 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 comfortable in my fucking position. Share my videos, y'all. If you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all for subscribing. The real people who fuck with me, like the real channels that subscribe to my channel, thank you for subscribing to my channel and not just subscribing to my channel to gaslight me more or manipulate me or to just gossip about me. Thank you for really just supporting me for real because these days it's hard to get the support that you need. Hence why I'm in this situation right now today. So I'm going to go and I'm going to stop talking because I really just want to mope around in my bed all day. And I'm going to get up. I'm going to uh, clean up. I wish I had some company. And this is, this is one of the reasons why I um, wish that I can go live because it'll be like, it'll feel like you guys was here with me. And that would kind of motivate me more to get up and clean up. But sometimes it get hard motiv motivating yourself. And I'm not going to mess with my dad today because, you know, I, I, like, I know my dad is suffering too. Like, my whole family is suffering. My whole family is suffering. You know what I'm saying? Like, Including myself, like even I'm suffering, bro. But most of all, I know Noah is just suffering. Like at least I'm home in my room, in my house. At least my dad is home. At least Londa is home. But my son, he is with strangers, people who don't love him. Like, I hate this for my son. I really do. I hate it for my son, but I know this is going to make him <laughs> even better. Like, that little boy is so awesome. I don't even know what to say. He is so freaking awesome, bro. Like, these racist, manipulating ass people come to me and tell me, talking about your son is so sweet. Bruh, I know they abusing my son. I know they taking that for granted because they taking mine for granted. So I know they're taking my son's for granted, bruh. My lip jumping. I already know they don't appreciate my son. I allow my son to be himself. I never try to make him change. I never manipulate my son to say things or do things to 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 benefit me. I've I've I will never ever do that in my life, ever. I will never use him like that to hurt someone else. Never. I'm always honest with my son. I'm always straight up with him. Always. But it's okay because I'm not going to stop exposing them. I'm still going to expose you. Still. Nothing's going to change. Still going to expose you. You think I'm going to sit here and allow you to abuse me in private? And then you take my son thinking that that's going to stop me? Hell no, nah, bitch. You don't even know who you fucking with. At all. And I'm not going to go behind your back to do it. I'm going to look you dead in your motherfucking eye. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to expose your ass looking you dead in your motherfucking eye. Bet that. I got a warrior spirit. I'm an ancestor already. I'm the motherfucker that they hung from the tree and was born June 29th, 1988. All over again. I'm that bitch. Nothing pussy or coward about me. 
fuck I look like what wait until somebody turn their back to stab them in their back. These motherfuckers scared of me. Period. They scared. It's only one me, bruh. Look. I sleep in my bed every night by myself. Every night. They gaslight me to isolate me, keep me from making friends. They use their flying monkeys. By myself. And I still got more heart than you. And it's 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 a whole bunch of y'all. Well, that's probably what you want me to think. But like I said, some of these flying monkeys, they don't know. And some of them do know. My problem is the ones that do know. Because they, they act just like the narcissist. They know. You can tell they know. You can tell. And it's only one me. And I'm a single mother. You cowards, bro. I could never look at you the same. I, I could never look at you as a loving, generous, caring, understanding person. Never. And I will never pretend that you are. Never. I don't have a man. Shit. I mean, you ain't necessarily got to be a person without a man and their kids to be miserable. Because I know people who are married with, with more shit than me that is miserable. I think we, 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 we. we We, 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 our minds are small. We need to broaden our minds because anybody can be motherfucking miserable. Any motherfucking body. You can't tell me Donald Trump ain't miserable. And he was the president of the United States with goddamn hotels. But the way that motherfucker act, you can't tell me that he got, he was happy. Nothing tell me that this man was happy. You know, miserable as hell, causing all that damn hate. Right. That's what I just said. Yeah, get that straight then, because everybody who's single with their kids is not miserable. I mean, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> my child fathers already know. I, I don't give a fuck who you stick your dick in. That ain't none of my business at all. Even if I did double back, I still didn't give a fuck. And I don't know, because at the end of the day, you know, I just needed some dick at the time. Hey. I'm going to tell you straight up. And, and that really don't excite me. I mean, I ain't going to sit here and say that. I don't like it. You know, and I don't need it. But at the end of the day, 
Noah is what's important. You know, I just need to blow off some steam so that I can go back to being a good mother. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to take a vacation. When you can't afford a vacation, then, hey, you probably just got to get you some dick and close your eyes and pretend you on a vacation getting this dick. You know, sometimes you got to use your imagination. And then you get up and then you go back to being that mother that you want to be. Because nobody's perfect. It's no handbook to being a mother. Just like I said, sometimes I get frustrated and I yell and I take it out on my son. But I, I go back and I apologize to let my baby know. That's how I can tell him the things that people do is not about you, but about them has nothing to do with you. Like these people cause their own narcissistic injury. And I'm going to keep saying that shit because it's, it's true to me. That's what I see. It don't matter what you do, what you say, whether you're quiet or whether you're talking about it, they still going to do the same things that they've been doing to your ass. So you might as well speak about it. Fuck how they feel. Well, I, feel like I never cared about that shit. Like, my child's father can do what the fuck he want to do. And if I had a boyfriend and he cheat on me, this, that, it's over for me. And he can go do what the fuck he want to do. Because guess what? At the end of the day, bitch, it's your loss. I know what I bring to the table. I know it's good. I already know. I'll give it to you blood motherfucking raw. So when you go and fuck that shit up, guess what? That's your loss, not mine. So why would I be bitter? Why? Nah. I love my child's father. You know, and I pray that he get everything that he want. But I don't fuck with him. He don't come first in my life. I don't drop everything for him. I drop everything for Noah, Kingston, Lee Haynes. That's my first priority. And if you ain't loving my son the way I love my son, then I don't love you. Period. And I don't mean I don't love you like I don't love you because I, I love my child's father. I mean, I don't love you. And I'm going to show you. Uh, You're not about to keep walking in and out my son's life. Bruh, and I just, me and my son was just talking about this. I just made this decision before my son even went to foster care. That's why I say they listen to everything that I say and the things that I want to happen, they make sure it don't happen. Because I told my son that, no, you can cry about your dad. You can do, like, my son literally cry about his dad, bruh. And I know my son because he, he, Pretend I'm trying to get him out of the habit of pretending like everything is okay when it's not. I'm trying to get him out of that. So I have to sit him down. And I told myself I'm going to let him cry every month. Every month. But I know Noah. Noah is... Noah is a lot like his mother. Noah is very resilient and very strong in that aspect. Like with with my with my um my strength, he got a lot of my strength. Um, he he is a kid too, so I can't say that he's like his dad because I don't know. You know, I can't really say he's like he's his dad. And I never tell him he like his dad. I always tell him, you're going to be better than me and your dad. You understand? And um, I can't say he like his dad, you know, until he, you know, get grown, get 18. And then, you know, I hope he's still, well, his dad got good qualities too. I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like his dad is just all bad. His dad, um... I've never known none though. But um 
Yeah, no, I no, like, mm -mm. I'm trying to raise him better, you know, and um, that's a hard part that I have to be honest with myself about, cause his dad never really showed me good qualities, because what I thought was good qualities was really manipulation. It wasn't really, you know, real. It was fake. You know, there's a lot of future faking and all that stuff. So, you know, but um, Noah is a lot like me, you know, in, in, a, in a certain way. He's a, he's a lot like me because he is, um, he's, he's very intelligent. He's very emotionally mature very and Noah has been this way ever since he's been a baby like when all the babies was crying in the nursery my son was not crying like he's always he didn't even cry when he was a baby like even when he was hungry it's like he was so patient like it's crazy like and um he's very resilient He's very outspoken. He's going to speak his mind. But he's also like a peacemaker. And I can say that he kind of got that from his dad. But the thing about his dad is his dad never tried to keep the peace with me. He like He'll keep the peace with people at work and ignore people at work. But then he'll come home and he'll take that out on me if I say something. You know, if I say, you need you need to get up and clean up, like, come on, help me clean up or something. Like, he'll take that out on me. Or if I say, I don't like this food, like, he'll literally make me eat the food and I don't like it. Like, those are the things that used to bother me. Like, like I couldn't think for myself and I hated that. I hated that, like, with a passion. But, um, I could say that Noah is, is, is 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 a, is a peacemaker too but he's 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 going to speak his mind still and him um knowing how to do that may be a challenge you know but you got to start when you're young you know but i know my son is is strong he's going to protect himself that's one thing i don't have to worry about him protecting himself, he's going to do that. But um, I know my son missed me, and I hate that he don't have his mother right now, you know. And I know how that feel, you know, me losing my mother. You know, you you literally don't have to die. Someone don't have to die for you to grieve. You know, and I said that before when Noah was a little baby in foster care. I said that, you know, I was grieving when I lost my son, like when he was a baby. It was like he was dead. And um, the narcissist turned that around and used that. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I swear, these people are crazy. I swear to God, y'all. And not the good crazy. Like, these people are... I don't trust him, Mario. He has lied and cheated on me in the past. I wonder if Lashika really loves me or she's here for my career. I am my own woman. I But yeah, these people are literally crazy. Like, if you don't want them to know some shit, you got to keep that shit to yourself. And the sad part about it is I wasn't even talking to them. The same way I'm sitting here in my apartment talking, and that lady over there got her TV off listening to everything, because she done came and opened up her closet door to let me know that she hear me like that's going to stop me. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. Like, bitch, I already know you crazy. 
That's why I record this shit. So that, so that, so that you know. Nah, I'm gonna tell my story this time. The fuck? Shit, I told my story the last time. What is even talking to you? That's what's wrong with people. They don't know how to mind their own damn business. People who have no life, they always in your business. Yeah. But baby girl, tell your story. Tell it. Tell it all. Tell your story. I don't give a fuck. They just mad because they don't have the strength that you have to heal. I'm healing right now. And they don't want me to heal because they're not healing. They're miserable. I'm healing. Just by making this video right here. I'm healing. I feel I feel a little better. Like I said, I woke up angry. I woke up missing my son. But I feel a little better. Um, I'm going to go outside and um, I'm going to put this phone on a charger. So I'm about to go for real. I know I said I was finna go and I, I'm still here. I'm finna go for real because I got to make a music video today. Let's see what time it is. It's 12. So um, I am going to, I ain't put no deodorant on last night when I got out of the shower and I'm musty. But um, I'm going to go take me a shower. Brush my teeth, do my edges. Uh, and oh. he claims I didn't communicate, I didn't tell him, and I feel like I did. He uh, or things to be done on more than social media. You don't need to put on such Y'all know I ain't wrapped too tight. So that was your version of communicating that to to that's how they thought he was in him. Yes, ma'am. That's how he was in my focus. First of all, what you looking at? Second of all, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I made sure I did it right that time. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go. I'm cold because I got my air conditioner. I'm going to go turn it. No, I'm going to keep it on because I don't want to be hot when I get out the tube. So, uh, honey, I'm going to make me some tea. I'm going to make me some tea so I can make my videos. And, um, Yeah, this is mental abuse because every time, you know, I get happy, I get sad because just thinking about my son, like, my son is suffering. I know he is. Like, it's the hardest thing is to lose your mother. Like, I, I would have seen if I was really doing something to my son, that would be a different story. But... Mm. They wrong. They wrong for taking my son for no reason. They wrong. They wrong for lying. They wrong. They wrong, they wrong for using gossip to, to take me down. They wrong. So this time, I'm going to tell my story. I'm going to tell the truth. I, want, I was finna say, I'm going to tell the truth in my story. No. I'm going to tell the truth about my story. Thank you. That's what I'm going to do. Because they telling lies. They adding some truth and some lies. And um, I'm not going to let that fly. I'm going to tell my own story. The fuck? And I'm going to tell y'all every move I make. Period. But, um, until next time, you guys, peace. And if Noah was here, and goodbye.